In this video, I'm going to show you how to use Python to convert Markdown to HTML and add Python syntax highlighting. This video is based on Sebastian Roshka's article entitled Five Simple Steps for Converting Markdown Documents into HTML and Adding Python Syntax Highlighting, which is available at the URL shown here. The steps are as follows. 1. Install necessary packages. 2. Write a Markdown document. 3. Convert the Markdown document to HTML. 4. Generate the CSS. And 5. Include the CSS in the HTML document. The two packages we need are Python Markdown for converting Markdown to HTML and Pigments for adding the syntax highlighting. We can get them both using pip. So let's do that. pip install Markdown and pip install Pigments. That was easy. Okay, now we need to create a Markdown document. I'm going to use the online Markdown editor at stackedit.io and I'll just copy the same document Sebastian used in his article and paste it there. There it is. Now we'll save it as markdown.md. Our goal is to have these code blocks marked up and highlighted. Sebastian found that Python Markdown does a pretty good job of recognizing what type of code it is. This first block, for example, doesn't specify that it's Python code, but in his experience, Python Markdown was able to recognize it as Python code. When I ran it, I wasn't so lucky. So I recommend that you start your code block with this marker to indicate that it's Python. After the Python marker, you can use HL underscore lines to specify certain lines that you'd like to have extra highlighting. Next, we need to convert the Markdown to HTML. We do this using the Python Markdown package we just installed by running this command. Note that we don't need the dash x code highlight bit to make the conversion from Markdown to HTML, but we will need it for the syntax highlighting. Here's the HTML document that was generated. It looks good, but there's no highlighting yet. We need the CSS code for that. We generate the CSS using the pigments package we installed. Here's the command. Once we have the CSS, we can reuse it for all of our HTML files created with Python Markdown. The final step is to include the CSS document in our HTML. We do that by adding this link tag. Then we just take the HTML that was created when we converted from the markdown and we paste it into the body of that document. We save and we can view it in a web browser. And here's what it looks like. Notice the beautiful highlighting of the last two code blocks, but the first code block isn't highlighted. And again, that's because Python markdown didn't recognize this as Python code. So I think you're better off always explicitly stating what type of code you're using. And by the way, this doesn't only work with Python. You can use this to add syntax highlighting for any of the languages shown here. I hope you found this useful. Thanks to Sebastian for the inspiration for this video. Check out his blog at the URL shown here for other articles on Python and other programming topics.